Hey, what's up guys? Nate with Mass Collector. Um, I just got a couple boxes in from Super 7 and um, I bought some reaction figures. They had a special by, I think it was five, you got the sixth one free. So they had Mars Attacks reaction and I've always been kind of a fan of that uh, that movie. I just, yeah, yeah, I always got a kick out of that. So we'll check these out. They package them up really nice. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, so first one is. Okay, so Mars Attacks. Here's the first dude. Um, their cards are really nice because they're nice and sturdy. Totally made for the collector. Um, the invasion begins. Martian leaders vote and decide that Mars would have, have to attack the Earth. A mammoth atomic explosion building underneath the planet threatened to destroy all life on Mars. So there's three of these that came out. Uh, this one here is just the one figure. They did a really good job on these. Really cool. So that's that guy. Um, this dude here <laughs> is uh, the burning flesh. gun so they got numbers here they got one number one on this uh, number 19 on this guy so I'm wondering if they're gonna release more I don't know a number and number 36 on this dude I'm sorry so these card backs are based on the Mars attacks card series that came out in 1962 by tops and um, it was quite the surprise to people when they started seeing some of these graphic versions of different types of trading cards coming out um, it almost had immediate public backlash uh, so much that a complaint from a Connecticut district attorney caused tops to stop production all producing the cards altogether so the 55 card set told the story of a Martian invasion and near destruction of Earth in gruesome visual detail. So like by this dog and this dude here. Like these are the actual fronts of the cards. I'll pop them up in the video. Um, images on the cards featured people and pets being burned, zapped with lasers and ruthlessly tortured. Um, kids may have loved the cards, but parents naturally hated them. So basically what is not debatable is the set is one of the most popular non-sports card sets of all time and rivals other sets like the Garbage Pail Kids as the most controversial in the entire hobby. And I'm reading this from an article called from oldsportscards.com. So it's the ultimate collector's guide. So when I bought these, I was buying them strictly because of my familiarity with the movie. And then I started to see, I'm like, you know, these look great. So I bought them and then I started seeing these numbers on there. You know, number one, number 19, number 36. These are the card numbers in the set. So <clears throat> if you can look here, it says collect the chaos. So here's the number one card. There's number 19 and there's number 36. 
And this is basically what it said on the back of the card. I believe. So I looked up these cards on eBay, these 1962 Topps cards, and they're not cheap. Not even the, the beat up ones, they're going for like 30 to 50 bucks a piece. Because obviously they didn't uh, distribute them very, very many of them. And, you know, nobody in 1962 was really worried about um, keeping the, the quality level on them in tip top shape, obviously, because there are mostly kids that were collecting them and throwing them in boxes and whatnot. But so that's the story behind these. Um, I was way off. I just loved taking, I just loved the, the artwork and the, the figures and the movie. And then I looked into it a little bit more when I saw these numbers and I'm like, holy cow, they actually had a set of these out in 1962. So um, that's the story behind these cards right here. So this one here, the same type of figure, but he's got his mouth open and it's the dog. You can kind of see the dogs in, getting uh, fried there. Got a hole on his chest. Like that. Starting to do that type of thing. But again, they did a really good job. Really clean paint jobs on these things. I like the bubble head and the backpacks and everything. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep these in here or not. I might pull them out and get a closer look at them, but they look really nice in the package. <laughs> So that's those. Um, and then I have, or at least get the transformer figures that I wanted. So right here to start would be Bumblebee. And these look really, really good. I mean, they are G1 perfect color and everything. There's a little ray gun. Collect all six. Um, I think I got pretty much all of them. Yeah, I got, I think I have this this crew right now, or at least I bought. So here's Jazz. Blaster, he came on in the second wave. So he's, he's my freebie in this box. Looks like he got some stuff inside the bubble there. So here's wave one Bumblebee Jazz, Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave. Uh, wave two is bigger uh, Grimlock, Skyfire. Alpha Trion, Mirage, Astro Train, Shockwave, Rumble, and Shrapnel. And I believe Wave 3 is where Blaster comes in. And Devastator, Dirge, Blitzwing, and Perceptor. So that's the first box. Um, and I'll open up the second box here. Because I got two sets. All right, so we got Shockwave. One of my favorite Decepticons. I'm a Decepticon fan. I've always been kind of a villain fan more than anything. And I think a lot of it has to do with the, the color and the logos and the uh, just, I don't know, everything about the design of the Decepticons is what I like better. So, yeah, they got stuff in their bubbles, which kind of stinks but whatever Soundwave another one of my favorites Really really it's really good Super 7 they do a good job the reaction line is cool, you know, the, the classic, uh, 
size, three and three quarters, Starscream. And he's got Megatron's blaster comes with. Or Megatron as a blast as a transformed blaster gun. Optimus. Gotta have Optimus. I don't think there's any way around that. There's his blaster gun. Did a really good job recreating those. Uh, Megatron. Megatron doesn't come with any accessory, it looks like. Just because his cannon is his gun, plasma cannon. And then this bad boy, yeah. Devastator. And you can tell by the size, they actually gave him some scale a little bit. I mean, he's much bigger on the cartoon, but when you uh, make a reaction figure. So these were like, I think these are $18 each, which is pretty expensive for these. But now that I look at them, they're really nice. Um, I can see why they charge as much as they do for it. They didn't skimp on the quality and then uh, Devastator was $25 I think it was $24.99 bigger card obviously a bigger figure beautiful figure they just nailed the colors on it it's one of my favorite combiners obviously because he was the first one I had I still have my guys from when I was a kid so there you have it. So now I am uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them behind, but I don't know if I'm going to get the rest of them or not. It's kind of up in the air yet. But thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pull them out of the packages yet. I just really don't have any room to store them. Once I do, I'll. Uh, and I'll do an unboxing video or something like that. But thanks everybody for checking it out. Um, I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. And then also, you know, leave some comments. What do you guys think of these figures besides them being too expensive? Um, they're really cool. I like them a lot. They do it. They did a really good job on these. So uh, hit that bell for notifications. Um, when I put out new videos and we will see you on the next video. Thank you. Mass Collector out.